welcome back to Love Your Food. This week we're doing something we teased at the end of last week's video. This is the chocolate sauce that we covered our profiteroles with. So uh, this is a very simple, really delicious chocolate sauce. Uh, we're using a dark chocolate that we got from Lind uh, for these. And uh, really, really excellent, delicious, and here's our ingredients. So we're starting off, obviously, with some dark chocolate, a little bit of cinnamon. We're going to add a little bit of hot sauce to this. This is a ghost pepper sauce. Just a little bit of sugar and some cocoa powder. And some cream. To finish things off, we have some nice golden rum. Uh, you can also use vanilla if you're not interested in using uh, uh, booze for this, but uh, we're using this really lovely gold rum. So we're going to start off. We want a uh, pan over somewhere around medium heat. And to our uh, saucepan here, we're just going to add our heavy cream. And make sure we get everything out of our measuring cup. And we're also going to add our cocoa and sugar. And the cinnamon as well. So we're just going to let that uh, warm up for a little while. Uh, while that's happening, we're going to cut up our chocolate. Uh, we just want smaller pieces because it makes it easier to melt. Uh, so good, good small little pieces here. The smaller they are, the faster they will melt. There we go. That's about as big as we wanted these. You can chop them up finer if you like, but uh, I mean, it's not all that important. So once you have a little bit of heat in your pan, we're just going to blend up the sugar, which should be dissolving into the cream, as well as the cocoa and the cinnamon, just to make sure that everything's well combined in here. At this point, it's going to look a lot like hot chocolate. You can see we do have a little bit of heat going there, so it's uh, boiling a bit. And now we're going to add in our, uh, our chocolate. Now that's going to start melting right away. So now uh, we're going to start just giving everything a good stir to make sure it's well combined as it melts. We're just using a fork, we're just going to get that well blended in there. And you can see it changing quite quickly from uh, very uh, a very sort of hot chocolate looking thing to, to the sauce. It, uh, when that cocoa butter and the cocoa starts melting into the, uh, the warm cream, it will uh, go very quickly. Now, if you, like we did, do your measurements just slightly wrong on your first try, and it seizes a little bit. Uh, you can see here it's gotten quite grainy. You can correct that by adding a little bit more liquid. So we're going to add a little bit more of the cream, a little bit more of the rum, and uh, we're just going to get that going a little bit. We also added the hot sauce there. You can you could see just before I added the cream. And here's Chef Caleb just giving it another good blend to make sure that we get that back into that nice smooth uh, emulsification. So. Here we go, it's getting back into that nice, uh, that nice sauce state here. Don't worry about mistakes in the kitchen, they are usually correctable. In this case, we just had just slightly too little uh, liquid for the amount of chocolate we had. We, uh, we did our math slightly wrong, so you can keep adding liquid uh, in very small increments until you get the right texture that you're looking for. So here you go. A little bit more cream, and we have uh, just about the texture we're looking for. That nice, smooth chocolate sauce texture that uh, goes really nice to cover things like the profiterole we did last week. You can use that to cover eclairs and that sort of thing. Very, very useful. Um, and like I said, it's uh, it, you can fudge it. So <laughs> if, you, if you do make a mistake on your initial measurements, don't worry, you can always go back. If you like this recipe, please do like and subscribe. And if you have any recipes you'd like to see Chef Caleb try on the channel, please let us know in the comments below. And remember to love your food.